How did I get into collecting? Um, when I was younger, I, I collected a lot of baseball cards. And uh, it was fun putting together a, a collection of uh, my favorite baseball players and teams. Uh, I was a big Red Sox fan growing up, but I never could get that uh, that complete set. It, it always eluded me, and it was very frustrating. And um, you know, when I got older, I started uh, collecting photo books. When I started going to school and um, meeting a lot of uh, photographers uh, through the Mass College of Art and everything, and um, that's fun. You know, you get to have some signed photo books by some of your heroes, and a whole wall of them that you can use to. Uh, study and use his references over over time but it was um, it was at a class I had at Mass Art with uh, Nicholas Nixon um, he would bring in um, photographs from his own personal collection and we would set up a couple long eight foot tables with brown paper and he would lay them out and it'd be some of my favorite artists such as like Emma Gowan and Frank Golke and Richard Avedon and Dean Arbus and they'd be there on the table for us to look at and touch and flip over and read and and there'd be interesting notes by like photographers like Sally Mann and we'd, we'd flip the photo over and it would say dear Nick like thanks for the suggestion on this camera it really worked out well what do you think and it's like oh my god this is really interesting and I came home that night from school and I told my wife look I'm done buying books I'm buying photos. I'm filling the house with photographs. And then she shook her head and went in the bedroom. So, uh, but here I am. And this is some of the interesting photographs that I've collected over the past few years. I've been doing it, I don't know, maybe five or six years now. And I try to buy photographs usually once every couple months. But uh, now I own a gallery, so it's, and I'm not buying as at the same clip I was, let's say, last year or the year before that. Well, I think um, probably the idea of owning a gallery took shape when I was in art school, uh, getting my bachelor's degree. Um, prior to going to art school, I was in the business world. I'd worked for a Fortune 500 company for about 11 years. But when I got involved into photography, I was I had this business mindset, and and I was trying to think, you know, am I going to make it as a photographer? Um, maybe. Uh, but I, on the other hand, I was thinking, you know, what if I could marry my business background with my photo background? What would be the ideal thing for me to do? And I kept coming back to, to owning a gallery and starting a gallery. And so then I, I started to meet some really influential people in Boston and some art dealers and some curators and some collectors. and. Um, and then I met someone um, over at the Photographic Resource Center and I ended up becoming involved in their organization and I was on their board of directors for a little while and then I worked for the organization for a little while and um, and then I acquired a, an art gallery and um, I think that uh, the people that I surrounded myself with knew what I wanted to do, knew I had a goal in mind to, to own a gallery and and they helped me achieve that.